recharging the air conditioning system on a 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. First thing you want to do is start up the engine. Turn the air conditioning on high, fan on high. Maximum air conditioning. Then you gotta figure out where the low pressure port is on your vehicle. And if you go to idqusa.com and go to their port locator web or link, it will show you where most vehicles have it. On my Dodge 1500, it is right here. Unscrew the cap. It has an L on it for low. Some vehicles do, some vehicles don't. Pretty simple. Make sure the engine is running, air conditioning's on. I am using the AC Pro. Then you just snap on the stuff on the lip, snap it on there. Then mine is reading nothing. Compressor is turning, so we have nothing. So let me recheck that. It is really, really low. So now you need to look at your temperature gauge because it needs to know what your outside temperature is. And this little gauge has an arrow right in the middle of the two lines and you set it. It's almost 80 degrees, so I'll put it right for 80 degrees on there. Okay, that's where I need to fill it. So now, unhook the hose. Come over here, the back, just screw it on and it's got a little pin in there that will pop the seal. Make sure it's going on straight. Okay, I heard it release gas, so so come over here, hook it back up to the low port system. I like the AC Pro because it's got a nice long hose, and a lot of these don't work very well. They're not long enough, and this dodge is the port's pretty low. Anyway, now that that's hooked back up into this, you just hit the trigger and let some of it go. Make sure you really shake it really good. Gotta mix up the oil and the coolant in there. simple little process. Once it's shake up, you gotta keep it at 12 and a 3 o'clock as you're filling it to make sure the product stays mixed. Just kind of shake it, 
squeeze it for a little bit, shake it, keep squeezing it. Can's getting colder, my bare hands, so I know it's working, putting it in. Okay, let's stop for a sec. It's climbed up quite a bit. All right. But not quite in the center of those two green lines for our temperature. And it's actually right below 80 degrees. Let's shake it some more. Inject some more in there. Okay, let go of the trigger. A little bit closer. We're barely hitting the green. Let's keep putting it in there. So people wear gloves. Good idea to wear glasses for sure. Gloves, yeah. This can will get pretty dang cold. So, and this AC Pro can is 20 ounces. So. It holds a lot of Okay, where are we now? They're slowly climbing up the green. And this pickup had an issue. It was only putting out cool air on the driver's side and not the passenger side, but I heard this was a pretty good fix. A lot of that issue was the way Dodge has it set up their system from left to right, their air condition or their fans instead of up and down. Okay, it's getting closer. Can's getting cold. Wanna switch hands? Alrighty. Well, keep shaking that can. 12 to 3 on the top, the top end of the can, 12 to 3, just keep shaking it, and just make sure you keep letting off every little, you know, 4 or 5, 10 seconds to make sure you're not overfilling that thing, slowly getting there, and the gauge is set, the arrow is just right below 80 degrees, because it's just right, almost at 80 right now, so, there we go. Put some more. It's just getting in that little area. So hopefully, what I've read, this um, might fix the air conditioning coming out of the passenger side also. You know, there's a lot of links in there about changing your gates and everything in there that they might be broken. But a lot of the issue people were saying they were having the same issue, but it's just because there's not enough gas. And you could tell this thing had nothing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it just seems to be stopping right there. It's not climbing up very much. Alright, let's just keep it going. Might end up using the whole can, geez. But, and then that little valve only pops on the um, low pressure side on most vehicles. The low pressure and the high pressure are actually different sizes and most of them are a universal size for the high pressure. What do we got now? Almost use this whole can. Stop for a second. And we're gonna go up and feel the passenger side. Oh yeah, it actually is starting to put out a lot cooler air in the passenger side. So that was true. The way the Dodges will blow air, cool air, just on the path or driver's side, and not the passenger when it's getting really, really low. Hmm. Looks like I might be using this whole can now. Goes down to zero, of course, when you pull and hold the trigger in. Okay, I am letting off, and I am still really, really low. 
at 35 PSI and at 80 degrees I haven't even hit my lower line yet so hopefully I'll get it to at least the lower line with this one can I don't want to overdo it I know they say put at least half a can and if it's your clutch isn't even engaging so Pause this video while I finish this up. <laughs> 